Okay, I'm really tired here, and uh, I put in a GPS coordinates. So I'm sitting here, and it gives me time to do something, but I just sit on my butt looking for police, and uh, really tired. I can do. I'm going to do a straight shot for it, and just let the GPS. The actual GPS helps when I'm tired. I'm going to set it down so I can study it, and, uh, and uh, I'm tired of making mistakes. So that's why I'm really careful now. I'm looking around. I'm exhausted. Oh my gosh. That was just enough to come drained. It's already late, so and I'm hoping that I want to get moving fast in the morning. Get a nice sleep. So I'm going to have about 20 minutes to actually wind the wind after all this crap. So, okay, now I'll get the car. Now it's, this is dangerous looking. This is serious stuff now. Wait, this car coming behind me. This thing's on a cop. So that'd be cool. He should have took off to change the car a little bit because they know the driver's license now like crap. So I mean the license plate. I'm gonna be just really careful. Take my time. And the problem is I can make a game's mistake. Head west on Omaha Street toward Mount Rushmore Road. We good. I'm sitting there for this car with the entire time. That's an officer you can sit here all day long. I actually pulled my phone out to act like I'm typing in a, an address or something or talking to someone's phone. I've done that. I got my phone. Okay? Now we get all the way over. I don't know like to take this route because it's a main street route. We see cops go up and down it. Make a U-turn at 5th Street. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not going to make a U-turn. I'm going to find a different route in the background here. Um, oh my God, there's somebody pulled over there. Are you kidding me? So now i got an issue. I'm going to have to turn around before I go cut. Look at somebody pulled over two officers. You kidding me? All right. I can shoot to the right. I'm going to shoot to the right and do a, a dangerous maneuver. No, can't. Okay, I'm going to do a dangerous maneuver. I don't want to be changing lanes. I don't want to go down. You know you can't see it. There's two officers. You got somebody pulled over. Now i got to go way out of here. Shoot. Okay. In 800 feet, make a U-turn. Well, I can't make a U-turn. Shit. General H, this is making me nervous now. I can't turn left, flashlights. Make a U turn. There's a dark spot here, I'm turning. I know you guys can't see crap. So I need a GoPro. I'll get this cop. Now, we can have to more backups. So I'm gonna cool and pull in real slow. Continue on Omaha Street for one and a half miles. There's too many police. There's too much around here. Too much activity, okay? So, alright. I'm gonna see what the heck is going on with GPS. I thought it. See, you're supposed to plan your route before, just in case it's. Up, Head northwest, then make a U-turn. No, not a U-turn. I'm already turned around. You're kidding me. I'm looking at it. Continue on Omaha Street for one and a half miles. One and a half miles. Speed limit. Sometimes your GPS does not. So I get one and a half miles to relax, okay? Now there's a car over here. I think it is a police officer. Oh my god, I forgot to make sure my light's on. Oh my goodness. Thank god these are automatic. I'm telling you right there, but right now, street that lights on, they would have said, oh, wait, we're gonna pull you over. Gosh, I made a mistake. See right there, I would have been there, because you can tell my lights on, the lights are so bright out here, okay? Gotta make sure, remember I told you earlier, you gotta check mark everything, make sure it's working right. That would have been it. So why is the guy driving that? He's been drinking or something. You know how many people get pulled over for drinking and uh, DWIs, but not having your lights on, are you kidding me? That was, now my speed limit, make sure you're not too much above both of the line. So now we're driving down the street. I can hold it up now because otherwise we're drawing attention. Now I can actually act like I'm talking on the phone. The police comes in next to I'm just talking on the phone. Yeah, because that way, you know, drinking and talking on the phone would be difficult for most people. They'd be swerving. So that way it tells me, hey, he's just talking on his phone and he's he's not drinking. I mean, you learn every trick. It's disgusting. It's like it's like a street battle, okay, between cops and you. And like I said, it's, I can't afford the insurance right now for this vehicle, and also I have restricted license because of all the garbage. So I, I made two months in, uh, in the damn system. Can't afford it. So I put myself at risk, which is kind of bad. Some people tell me, Kirk, don't put you at risk because you're making everybody at risk because you're helping people. All right. But you know, with the father and Lord trying to help out on their side, they can't do everything. You still got to use my wits and street knowledge to uh, do it. You know, even the Lord just couldn't out do just what he wanted. The father just, you know what I mean, you got to use your head, right? You gotta use your head. Now I'm far enough away, I'm relaxing now, finally. <laughs> so usually what I do now, I'm far enough away, you're still like a body, but at least I know I'm in the hot zone. That, you know what I mean, I feel safer now. And now, now I've learned, I used to have my heart be racing and panicking, and now I'm not even panicking, I'm just relaxing. And uh, it used to be like panic for another 30 minutes or something until I park. Now I'm still gonna be unconscious because anything can happen, 
in seconds, okay? So you're aware, but you're relaxed. That makes sense, it's unusual. You're aware, but you're relaxed, okay? So I'm driving here. And uh, normally I... Uh, in a quarter mile, use the left two lanes to turn left onto Mountain View Street. I gotta make sure ahead of time so I don't do something stupid. Uh, it says Mountain View. The problem is it's Mont Okay, so I'll look for the end because I'm tired. It said, uh, it says point one, so miles. So it should be, oh my gosh, I just almost went in the left lane. Right there, made a mistake. Use the left two lanes to turn now, left onto Mountain View Street. Now it's got a red and yellow, so I gotta make things I'm tired. Stop completely behind the line. You pull over this line, you can't see it right here. And you gotta go, so I'm good to go. Make sure we're clear. Looking for police, we're good to go. Don't do anything stupid. Oh shoot, there's somebody coming behind me. In 800 feet, okay. turn right onto West Main Street. Now, let me see, 35 miles an hour, it's just a truck, okay? Seriously, you gotta monitor everything. It's disgusting. All right, uh, I'm checking stop sign, I hate flashing red lights. Turn right onto West Main Street. Let me hide me, it's just a truck. This is a truck we saw before. Do a complete stop, make sure all four, so we're good to go. All right, does this say turn right? Oh shoot, I was tired, made a mistake. Um, I'm gonna go straight through, dang it. Because if I make a turn now, it'll be a nightmare. So this is what I can do. I just noticed that there's this pantry here, come pantry. So I'm gonna turn in, then I think I'm getting gas or something like this. And then in 600 feet, turn down. right onto Canyon Lake Drive. Now, so what's interesting about this, you actually monitor to see if there's police hiding behind these stores. See, I'm scanning this whole parking lot now. See that there's no police hiding, because they will sit in parking lots, right? It's, I'm seriously, they will from back to see if somebody's, if somebody's doing something. And I can see that nobody's here in this parking lot. I walked to that vehicle over there, it's not a police. We got a stop sign up here. I know it's hard because I'm moving so fast. There's a left lane turn, so I'm gonna make sure I'm on the, on the right lane because there's actually a split arrow in this weird section right here. Now I'm gonna stay here for a minute, okay? Take my time. Log on the phone. That is not a police coming down the road. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm looking here, and as you see like here, there's, actually, there's a left. Oh shoot, is it right? No. Okay, I'm looking, it's completely clear. This is nice. Now what happened? Turn left onto West Main Street. All right, I don't know why it says. Continue on West Main Street for half a mile. Half a mile. So now I'm gonna look. Look at my spot. Oh, my odometer 94. So if it hits 95 soon, that means it's just a little bit, a little bit further down the road. You can actually count blocks. It's five blocks for half a mile, ten for a full mile. This is already about uh, almost one block green to this one and a half. This two blocks. Look behind me. Nobody's there. Sometimes you want to change lanes, not being this fast one. So I'm gonna change lanes. Then somebody comes speeding or. That you know, and I can turn off quickly if I see a police versus going all the way through. Okay, I mean, seriously, this is ridiculous. I mean, this is what I'm sure you have to do. All right, so here we go. Looking, looking, uh, yellow flashing night, not red. Storbuck Island, I didn't know it was there. That's a beautiful place. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. Quarter mile, see there, I was really counting that step. That's about four quarter miles. So, yeah, I counted it one, two, three, four, about five blocks. So Probably someone here start looking. Yes, yeah, it says 95 on the odometer here. So wait, I'm gonna look at the scan. Okay, look at it's running right hand side. Okay, now I know that I was using it as a small distance. I have time to top into where I'm looking for some. Uh, Your destination is on the right. I'm sleeping in the car in uh, the street in front of the house. They might be home, and I don't want to knock on the door at night, but uh, let them know that I'm in town because they didn't know. Okay, now I mean, we gotta be careful here. I don't know where I might now. I think I might have to pull over at a safely a safe spot hiding. There's a car coming down the damn road now because I don't remember exactly how far I could. I'm gonna speed up a little bit if I can to get a distance from them. That's a police. Now you can't speed up too much because you're over the speed limit. Okay, you're over the speed limit. So I think it's 35 in here. It's not saying on the because uh, I don't have the GPS. Let me look. You're going to turn. Yes, keep going straight. I'm trying to remember exactly the spot. Okay, I think you fall this through. It's on Sturgis Road, I remember. I don't have time for my GPS. Sturgis, I'm looking for places I recognize. How far am I away? Shoot. Um, that's not a cop because I can tell by the lights. This car. The lights are definitely not cops. Now, there's car, those weird, weird cars over there. That looks like a police. You know, I have to be careful. All red lights. It wasn't paying attention. All right, red light. Uh, so, and sometimes I start talking to myself because I'm so tired to make sure I'm making right moves. Okay, with Chicago, and I'm on Sturgis. That's okay. I think I'm fine. I'm almost in the clear now. 
because I think the other thing you have would be sheriff once you get outside is I mean, still whole place is a uh, is a problem. But uh, I'm actually looking for gas the next day in case I need to fill up to see what the prices are local. Two sixty five. We did a spiritual read on the the place. It's actually a good place to to buy over here, right here. I've done a spiritual scan. And actually, it's the other side that helps with that, by the way. It's just not myself, like I told you. Because I had to learn buildings, places, people, and all this other situation. So I just did a spiritual scan. And on the big D, that building is fine. It doesn't look like it's demonically demons or anything weird on it. Okay, now I'm looking in. Uh, I need to start with monitoring on the left because I don't remember exactly where the turnoff is. It's been, a, you know, it's switching lanes because uh, it goes into, you can't see it, it went to a single lane. So you got to make it before. Also, if you make your blinker signals before movement, uh, it makes the police know that you're thinking ahead versus reacting if you've been drinking or driving. So I'm, I'm thinking ahead. It means most people can't do that if they've been drinking and reacting, you know, reacting to something going to hit or a light coming down the street or something like that. So it tells the police that he's not, re he's, you know, it says 45. Now don't go too slow, too fast. I'm going to actually move up to 45. Because also moving up to 45 helps me get out of town faster. There you go, I'm at 45. No, no, not too fast. You can actually pour it at 46, 47. Just don't do it too much, okay? I mean, it, it's, it, it's a thing. Now I'm looking, oh wait. I see this, I recognize this. I'm gonna go a little further. I forgot the name of the place, but it'll, it'll sling it into my head and see I'm tired. Um, I think I recognize that. It'll be a, a, an unusual name. Now that I'm farther away, I feel safe. I can actually pull over in a couple blocks away. What is that? GPS it. It's up a hill, I know you can't see this. It's up a hill. We are clean. There's nothing out here, it's silent. Oh yes, we have some silence. See, I was getting excited getting there for a bit, now I'm calm again. And that up and down, it says 50 miles an hour. It'll wear you out, I don't remember being 50. Now I'm getting concerned that I'm on the wrong road because I'm tired. I'm on the damn wrong road, you're kidding me. Oh shoot. All right, I got a GPS it. I thought I remember, I think I'm on the wrong road. I'm not sure. There should be some buildings on the right. And up a hill, they're off the, up a hill to the left. I'm gonna go through where these lights are. It's also say spot to pull over. And then I'll turn around and I can actually monitor the street when I turn into direction towards it. I think, I think I'm off here. I think I was supposed to take a left back there. Shoot. That's okay, because I, I can get there from, from a distance from here, because it's, it's a, a Y. It's a Y shape coming out of there, okay? Looks like there's a church on there. I don't remember a church. Yeah, we're too far out. Shoot, I gotta turn around. Oh, I've been to this church before. Oh my goodness. Now, recollection. Now I'm up to GPS this thing. This is actually a safe, not a church. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. I have no idea how I went so far out. Now it says, Grand Cemetery Society. It's church something. I don't know. No, oh my gosh, I didn't want to pull over. Are you kidding me? Now you don't want to pull the next right there, you want to pull back in a little bit so that case you don't cause any disturbance or something. Okay, and then I'm going to have to GPS this, and this is ridiculous, are you kidding me? Now I'm tired as heck and it, so I'm making mistakes. you got to find a pull-off spot. Looking for a pull-off, turn on the bright lights. This is actually safe here because there's nothing here but trees and stuff. I'm going to get up on the hill where I can see things a little bit clearer. And, oh wait, there's a pull-off spot. I'm going to pull off. It's dangerous. You want it? Is there a light? Okay, this is a nice spot because I can see a street above there. So I'm pull off the road, okay? Now sometimes you put your hazard on. That's more attention, okay? So I'm going to sit here. And I'm going to GPS this thing while we do this now. Put it in the brake. You know, sometimes you turn off the lights. I'm going to turn off the light section because that's just, just, oh, I can't. I'm afraid the automatic lights. So it's an advantage. So I'm going to turn the light real quick. That way you look like you're digging something, okay? 